And this severe weather system impacting everyone from Cornelius to Rock Hill to Charlotte. Right now, there's a ground stop at Charlotte Douglas International Airport because of this weather. That is where we find Xavier Walton live tonight. Xavier, what's going on out there? Fred, that ground stop has been in effect for about an hour now, and that really is impacting the planes coming in, inbound planes coming to Charlotte, planes taking off from Charlotte. There's still that delay, but it has been a busy day here on the tarmac, busy afternoon. You can see just off in the distance over there, uh, emergency vehicles, emergency responders there on the tarmac. Now, during our 430 live hit, they were waiting for a plane to come in, and that plane is just over there. We're still trying to confirm what exactly was going on with that plane and why emergency vehicles directed straight at that plane right around 445. That's something we're working to confirm. But take a look over here to the left. You can see uh, another fire truck on the tarmac as well. Now, I've been out here plenty of times, and you haven't seen this many emergency vehicles actually on the tarmac. So it's definitely a busy day. Again, that ground stop still impacting inbound planes and people coming into Charlotte. And there's still that delay for families. Obviously, planes taking off from Charlotte. But still, since we've been out here, a lot of planes leaving because it's really just impacting the inbound planes. For now, they're reporting live at Charlotte Douglas. I'm Xavier Walton reporting for NBC Charlotte. Xavier, thank you. Our live team weather coverage continues on the roads now. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez is in the Chevy Storm Tracker tonight. Tanya, you were in York County. What's happening there? Well, we were in York County, but we're actually being directed right now toward Belmont. So we've actually crossed the state line. We're now trying to get on 485. Traffic is really moving pretty slowly right now. But I can tell you what things looked like earlier. When we were riding around York County, we were getting hammered. At one point, we saw heavy rain that was coming down. There was hail that was pounding on our windshield. We saw lots of heavy ponding across the road as well. This this was all over the course of the last hour to hour and a half, and we would see really heavy downpours, and then it would seem to subside and kind of taper off into a little bit of a drizzle, but then back again into the heavy rain. We encountered pockets of hail at least a few times over the course of the last hour. Right now where we are, though, trying to get onto 485 inner toward Huntersville, not seeing a lot of issues. The roads still are wet, and you can see there's a lot of big, dark, heavy clouds here in the area, but no rain to speak of, no major issues issues to speak of where we are at this point. Again, we're trying to get to Belmont because we're hearing reports of trees that are down. So we're going to head that way, check things out, and we'll continue to watch the roads between here and there in the meantime. Live, Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. Tanya, thank you.